your AI sucks at programming and it's all your fault. Sorry to get heavy on you, but here's why your vibe coding isn't gelling. See, agentic tools like Windsurf or Klein are game changers. One prompt can build an entire project for you, but it's kind of like hiring a handy person. Sure, they'll nail building a shed, but ask them to add an extension to your house? Good luck. Large language models take input, process it using fancy math, and spit out some results. That input, or context as the AI folks like to call it, is everything. It is the robot's only window into your problem. Without specific context from you, they're just rolling dice. Have you ever noticed during vibe coding that your robot's personality changes? One minute it's writing perfect commit messages, then suddenly it's doing whatever the vibe this is. That's context shift. Early parts of the conversation get rotated out, and your robot develops digital amnesia. Damnesia. LLMs have a limited context size, and as the conversation progresses, work is done behind the scenes to prune the context so it fits. By the way, bigger context windows don't really fix this. A 10x larger window just means each instruction might have one tenth the impact. Repeated patterns are amplified while one-off instructions vanish. Oh, an another wrinkle. Identical prompts produce different answers because a robot consults a random number generator each time. Every conversation, sometimes every message, is with a different personality altogether. Building with LLMs isn't like hiring one person. It's a revolving door of workers showing up every few minutes with no knowledge of what happened just a second ago. Someone needs to manage it all. Goodbye, Vibe Coding. You're now Vibe Project Managing. Not sketchy, is it? Here are some VPM techniques I use to get the best out of my robots. I create comprehensive context files for my code base that document language, tooling, conventions, and philosophy. I lean heavily on established terms like TDD, dry, and solid. When there is no rules file available, I make a markdown doc and reference it at the start of every conversation. Before writing a line of code, I ask my robots to create a detailed design document. I collaborate with them to define features, acceptance criteria, and edge cases thoroughly. Then I have my robot create tasks in a project tracker. This is wired through MCP, the model context protocol, so that the robot could use it natively. When the robot starts a task, I have it create an implementation plan and add that to the tracker. That way new robots understand what was done and what's left to do. For complex projects, I start fresh conversations for both high-level architecture and fine-grained tasks, and see the context with the necessary design documents. This gives each conversation a complete picture without being confounded by lots of irrelevant context. I insist on tests. They create guardrails for future robots that don't have the full context and prevent feature stomping when details get lost between sessions. Oftentimes, it's better to revert than correct. If the robot gets something wrong, I'll undo changes, revert the prompt, and add more context instead of carrying forward a mistake. This gets the bad inference out of the context. By the way, your language your bot doesn't help. With all this, now my vibe coding is just, please work on the next task. Design is over here. And the robot reads the task details, design docs, and architecture before creating an implementation plan. It even handles static analysis, git commits, and task status, all while I watch other people complain about their AI tools on Discord. Vibe on and keep it heavy.